A man had two sons. He went to the first and said to him, Son, go and work today in my vineyard. And the son answered, I don't want to. My dear friends, vineyard is the kind of duty that you should do in this world. Lord's work in the world. If you find, if you can remember last Sunday, the workers were waiting in the town until the master called them to the vineyard. His vineyard. So today, they were, they were called as workers to work in the vineyard for a wage, for a salary. Today, the relationship is broadened and deepened where the Lord is saying, you're my son and this is your hair also. This is your, your position also. This is what belongs to you also. And then, you, yet you have a duty to work in the vineyard. If you don't work, if you don't do your earthly duty, you will lose meaning of your life. There is no, there is no other way you have to work in the vineyard. Whatever the thing you have to accomplish in the world, you have to accomplish it. There is no other way. So the Lord is asking, the Lord is saying, so the father goes to the, goes to the elder one and asks him to go to the vineyard and he said, he can't, I can't. I can't. And uh, he's not in a position to go and work. That I can't is the sin, is a disobedience that will destroy you completely. Because if you don't do, those who, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, he said, those who call me Lord, Lord, are not saved unless you do the will of the Father. So, will of the Father is an invitation, my dear friends. So that invitation, you should hear that invitation. You should see that beckoning of the Lord. And uh, so you have to, the, the elder son must have engaged in a work, in his own occupation. But then it, it causes, a, it, it, we, there is a price for that calling. If you want to respond to the father, you have to let go of what you are doing now. You have to forego that, sacrifice that. So that's how you have to respond to him. So that's where Jesus said, if possible, take this cup away from me, my Lord. It was difficult for him. But then the response was negative. He said, I can't. My dear friends, with this can't, you won't have a life. That sin, where he, what happened next, I don't want to, but later he thought better of it and went. Then what happened? He thought about it again. Because of the father, the reaction of the father was silent. No punishment, no retorting, nothing. Simply, Simply, he shut the door and went away. That silent response should have been challenged him terribly. He just thought about the hurt feeling of the father. He just thought about his calling and how can he let him down. So that relationship made him think again. Have that metanoia, change of, change of heart, that you turn and to work in the field. There's no other way, my dear friends. You have to have this metanoia in your life. Have to have this change of life in your life. And then the second one. This is, Lord, yes, yes, sir, I will. And then he never went to the field. We might speak a lot. We might say things. He wanted, he wanted to kind of impress the Father. Impress people by saying that I will, but then he never turned in. 
That's exactly what happened to us. We so we, we speak so much, we if we emphasize so much, we blow our own trumpets, and uh, we want to influence people. We want to convince people, show people that I will. I'm doing the will of the Father, but inside, we never do the will. We'll have our own ways. The Lord is saying, all the Pharisees, Sadducees, and high priests are like the young son, younger son, who knew the law, who knew the calling, and then yet they cover many things up. They, they covered things because they want to just impress people. But then in, inner response was not there. They never, never, they didn't want to live their own way of life. My dear friends, the Lord is saying, you should have that change of heart. The moment you have the change, the first reading says, the wicked person, the moment he's transformed, converted, had the change of heart, is saved. But then if a, if a good person fall into wickedness, sin, at the end, he was doomed. So if you don't repent, if you don't repent, you, you are not saved. But then the moment you repent, you will have a new life, my dear friends. Completely a new life. So all up to you. It's all up to you. To look at him, look at the cross, the amount he had to suffer how much he loves you and have that change of heart. So younger brother, elder brother, a younger son, elder son, and there's another son. That's Jesus. Jesus, as only son, did the will of the Father. He said, with much difficulty, Lord, if possible, take this cup away from me, but not my will, thy will be done. He said, I will do your will, Father. And then he climbed the cal climb Calvary with his own cross to say, to fulfill that yes, which was given. So let's make him my example. Ask Mother Mary to pray for us. Because she said, I'm your handmaid. And she became that handmaid. And she, she served God until the last moment. So, if you can say yes and do the will, that's the best that you can do for him. Then even though you will have, if you decide now to have that U-turn, your past is gone. You will have a new life. Enjoy that new life with repentance and, and that shub metanoia, with that change of heart. Think about it and have a nice day. Amen. May God bless you.